Skywind is a fan-made modification that seeks to bring the world of Morrowind into the Skyrim engine and is one of the most ambitious undertakings ever done by modders. The project started with just around eight members in early 2012. Unlike More Oblivion, its predecessor, the team didn't want to just directly import the game to the updated engine, but instead wanted to create something that could be embraced by both Bethesda and the Elder Scrolls community. It is a chance for fans to recreate a loved world in their design and make it their own. The project has skyrocketed in recent months. Now, it just stands at over 70 members, 30 of which are dedicated voice actors, along with concept artists, landscapers, 3D modelers, music composers, script writers, weapons and armor designers, and coding specialists. It is this team that is making Skywind a reality, a chance to show their talent and to bring an amazing world to a newer generation of gamers and to all fans of the Elder Scrolls series. One of the most visual differences from Morrowind is Skyrim's vast landscape. Due to Morrowind's dated engine, a directly ported landscape would be too barren and empty to compete with today's game standards. Because of this, the world of Morrowind needed to be recreated while still staying true to its original design and feel. Our landscapers have worked tirelessly to embrace the full potential of a modern Vardenfell, one with not only updated meshes and textures, but scenery and regions that truly bring the world to life. This is all done in the Creation Kit, a tool used to import models and edit world dynamics, usually done by custom models and meshes made by our skilled designers. This is a world created with intense care and creativity in order to make the province of Morrowind fully realized. We hope you enjoy your journey as you explore such a rich and detailed world. It takes more than just scenery to create a vivid world, however. Ravana and other modelers have created both terrifying and beautiful creatures to inhabit the world. With the help of Alex B, we are able to bring these monsters to life, now with new custom animations. The process can be difficult, but each creature is a true work of art. With other custom models, like rock formations and armor made by Kurosaki, we are now able to make the mod stand out from Skyrim. All of our custom models wouldn't be possible without the creative minds of our concept artists. Dragomir, our main concept designer, takes most of his inspiration from the work of Michael Kirkbride. His outlandish vision and Far Eastern vibes is what he takes most of his inspiration from. When we design an armor, we try to go for a shocking alien look while also making it as practical as possible. Therefore, many native Dunmeri armors have pieces that help them resist ash and other volcanic debris. Most of them are also made from materials only found in their homeland. Morrowind only had eight exploration tracks. As brilliant as they were, it was far too little for a world so vast and varied. Our composers try to create music that's similar to that of Jeremy's soul. In addition, we wanted to give some pieces a more tribal feel, using instruments that we record ourselves playing. To fully enjoy one of these melodies, please listen as you witness a speed painting of Azura done by one of our concept artists. Our 3D modelers have been hard at work, recreating Morrowind's extensive arsenal of weapons, 
like Tommy the Gun's Twemmer weapon set. The process is long, and a lot of creativity is needed to mold these weapons into what they are. From modeling to texturing, it can be a tedious effort to perfect our weapons, but it will be well worth it in the end. The little cube I am looking for is about the size of a fist. Digital Paranoid has been tasked with leading the quest implementation. This is the part where your exploration of Morrowind becomes a real game. It seems pretty vague, but is actually a large effort. We have to deal with dialogues to ensure the NPCs are giving the important information needed to progress in questing. Then, the appropriate actions and reactions must be scripted. You look like you can take care of yourself. Then why don't you do Dozens of quests have been completed already, but there is still a lot of work to be done, because there are over 600 quests to implement. The hard part now is finding things to fix or enhance. Volunteers are needed to test this in order to have physical interaction in the world, and make it feel more immersive and responsive. I do not like to boast, but my people call me a champion. A noble warrior of the Ashlanders. Voice acting is one of the most oh, yeah, ambitious the parts about the project. The because Morrowind was never voice acted aside from a few generic lines of dialogue, volunteers are stepping up to make the characters of Skywind more believable. I hope it doesn't end with more flame atronachs in the guild library like last time. We have about 30,000 lines of unique dialogue to record, as well as thousands of other voices for each race and gender. Around 5,000 lines have been recorded, but this is a lot of work for 30 active voice actors and many more will be needed to complete it. ...and get cheaper as you advance in rank. But, since Shoring Hardheart, the new Guildmaster... Thank you for joining us on this exclusive inside look into the making of Skywind. If you appreciate our efforts, now is the time to step up. Volunteers are still needed to help with this project. And with your support, we can make this vision become a reality.